Well, good day everyone. I am just about to duck off and thought I'd do a quick video because I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, paddle raise and the fund need and how best to talk about that and also structure that. Uh, I believe that a fund need paddle raise is probably the single biggest component to be able to increase your event revenue year on year. It takes planning, it takes strategy, it takes execution, but it is the only part of the fundraising night where you are able to gauge the majority of the people in the room. A live auction generally engages less than 5% of your room. Uh, in that 5%, when you look at your data, 90% of the time the larger auction items are purchased by those closest to the organization. And they're generally board members and those large donors and you know the people that are really, really close. A paddle raise properly structured and positioned will enable you to reach the whole room. And I'm not saying that you're gonna get 100% participation, though we'd like to, it's just not happened. I have never seen it happen in all my years, but let's just say we're trying to get 70 to 80% participation, because there's gonna be a portion of people that come to your event that don't know anything about you yet. And so they're seeing you out, they're sussing you out, they're trying to understand, you know, are you good at fit? Do you align with their values? Are you delivering on your mission? So let's just say the paddle raise structured properly, we're looking to get another 80%. How we do that also is important. You can just go, yeah, we're going to do a paddle raise and you know, you raise a paddle and you'll get some numbers and things like that. But it really does take planning execution. One thing with uh, the paddle raise is about the leadership of the board, in my opinion, and how you best structure that. And let's just assume that your board is not a fundraising board per se, or that you, they struggle with that aspect. This is a great way to start them. Because basically, people follow leaders. Uh, people will be inclined from the psychology of giving standpoint to be able to follow someone you know, into battle. And so if we're able to set up your leaders and your organization and your board, where they may put, you know, whether it's, just to say 30 bill board members and they put $300 dollars away a month for 12 months leading up to your event. That's yeah, $3,600 odd as potentially out of the 30 odd board members, you know, nearly $100,000. And that is an amazing way to be able to stand up because what you want to do is be able to represent the board in the best possible light. If you have 30 people, 20 people, 10 people, whatever it is, standing up at your event and someone being able to say, these are the leaders of our organization. They believe in our mission. They understand what we're trying to do. And tonight, they have put in X amount of dollars, $100,000 for say. If you've got 30 board members standing up at a table and they're being recognized for the amazing and meaningful work that they are doing, it puts the onus on other people in the room. But if you don't do that, and a board member doesn't stand up and put their hand up in the vent, there is no reason for anyone else to give. No matter how good your story is or how good you think your story is, people want to follow leaders. They want to see people doing good. And so if you're able to get your board to do that, it's an awesome way to showcase leadership, the amazing work that they do, but also set it up for success. Because I'll guarantee you, there'll be people that would maybe have not considered bidding that will now bid, especially if they're on a table that board members have brought to the event for the first time, but it really engages your crowd. It whips people up into a frenzy. And so being able to position it, whether it's 10,000 or 100,000, whatever the amount might be, you've got to think about it from a strategic standpoint and how you set it up. It takes planning, it takes the phone calls. It's, it's a portion of major gift conversation for your event. And that's especially before and also after in terms of being able to set it up for the following years. Uh, so there, it is the most amazing opportunity. We've, I work with two, uh, a couple of schools and other nonprofits this year. We've took take one from twelve thousand dollars to fifty three to one hundred and six to two hundred ten thousand just a paddle raise alone. The opportunity is there. It takes work and planning and strategy to make sure we get it right, and it's year on year. Uh, and it takes the planning after that as well. But it really is the best opportunity to raise money directly for your mission. It's 100% tax deductible, and it is a great way to raise money. Remember, auction, all the work you do, all the fulfillment you have to do, all the asks, it's a lot. So look at restructuring it. The auction may never go away. For some events, I have completely sent it away. 
because it is a lot of work for a lot of return. Think big, think about your audience, think about all the people in the room that you want to engage, that you want to have as first time donors, as repeat donors, and work out how we structure that, how we ask them. You need to tell a great story. There is no doubt about that. You need to have a great story. You need to have a good speaker that hits the emotional arc of the evening. But more than likely, you have all that. And if you don't have that, if you're a small nonprofit, I'm happy to help. But the larger nonprofits have marketing departments and they have video budgets and they have the ability to do a lot of this stuff. But it really is an amazing opportunity to raise more money for your mission through a paddle raise. Use technology uh, or use a traditional way, whatever it might be. Um, there are ways to do it, there are ways to structure it which suit your audience as well. But I would say you need technology. It's a big key component to fundraising and making it easily and seamless. You need energy, you need a plan, and you need to be able to execute. So if you do have any questions about wanting to put in place or restructure your event, uh, please let me know. I'm always happy to chat and have a discussion at any point in time. Thanks and, and have fun fundraising. Cheers.